just like the one I have here. This is a Takeo Zone valve, very typical in pretty much any house you're going to have in the United States. Notice here a close-up. This has three screw terminals. If yours is different, this may not be the video for you, but I think you're going to find in most cases you've got the same valve. Most important thing you're going to learn right now is the colors of the wire don't matter at all. What matters is the order, especially if you're replacing them. So right off the bat, get yourself a piece of paper and you want to write down a little chart where you list each color of the wire from top to bottom. That is going to be the most important thing I'm going to teach you in this video. Next thing you're going to do is shut off the power to your boiler. That's critical. If you've got a switch like I have here, go ahead and shut it off. But if you don't, shut it off at the breaker. You don't need a lot of tools for this job, so the next step you're going to do is you need to undo those wires. So you either need to use a flathead or a Phillips head screwdriver like I'm using here. Very easy to do. Just unscrew each one, and then you're going to pull the wires back. I don't like to ever have wires touching, so it's a good idea to spread them apart a bit just to be sure. Next step's just as easy, you don't need any tools. The top of this zone valve is called the zone head. That's what we're replacing today. So you're going to give that a twist, and then just wiggle it slightly, and it should pop right off. It could be stuck a bit from a little corrosion like I've got here, but don't go crazy. Just give it a little wiggle and pull it straight off. Now you're ready to install your new head. You just reverse what you did, place it on the top of the zone valve, and give it a twist like I just did. Make sure it's secure, but it will wiggle a little bit, but you want to make sure that it looks even and flush. Now you're going to reconnect your wires, and again, using that chart that I hope you made earlier, it's very easy. Again, do not copy my colors, they don't matter. And I know I've said that a bunch of times, but I can't tell you how many friends I've got that have blown the valves, and at almost 100 bucks a pop, you don't want to do that. Now I've just loosely got each of these wires on, I'm going to tighten them up with my Phillips head screwdriver, make sure that they're secure. Make sure also that they're not touching. These are kind of funny connections. They're a little bit close to one another. So make sure that the end of the wire is not touching the other terminals because again, that can cause you problems. So it's worth taking a few minutes just to make sure and tuck those wires out of the way. Last thing I need to do is just check the wires, check the valve head, make sure it's tight. If everything looks good like it does, I'm gonna power the system back up and give it a test. Job done. All right, time for a super close-up. So I thought this was important because on the camera, you can't really see what I'm doing underneath the valve. So this is the base of the valve, and you'll see this when you buy your new one at the store. And you can see that those holes have little keyways. So when you put your bolt in there from the valve head, it presses into the larger part of the hole, and then when you give it that twist, it locks into the smaller part. So that's what keeps it in place. And you can see a good example of that here, and you can see how those bolt holes stick out a little bit on the head. So last thoughts on the zone valve replacement. So this is a fairly easy job, but you need to know your limits. The other thing you need to realize is that your boiler has a lot of hot water in it, and you really need to be careful anytime you're working near hot pipes, electricity, or water. So I recommend that if you feel uncomfortable or it's beyond your abilities that you should hire a licensed plumber. But I hope you found this video informative, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you click like, and also click subscribe, and you can see future videos.